Welcome back to the big board. Here we go. Let's have a look. Fro a Frozen Hell, the TCS system, Tactical Combat, MMP. Originally, the game is. In fact, this is indeed a gamer's title. Um, let's uh, let's see. Let's talk about tactics and the situation. It is eh, 9th of December, 1939. Twilight AM 0700. Clear weather, and the Finnish just uh, made a decision to pull back from this line here. They were dug in. They've done a pretty good job in terms of uh, suppressing and uh, inflicting losses on stacks back here, uh, who have ha had to do SYRs or save yourself retreats. Uh, some losses here with a, a great artillery strike, and really felt like that their uh, more than average capability infantry units, these guys right here, they're uh, five rated, but we're taking two off because of the uh, misinformation about the, the, the Finns' uh, capabilities with these submachine guns and all that sort of fun stuff. Let, let's net it out to say, watch, watch the other videos that I have on this topic and you can see our rationale behind all of the adjustments we made some of it built on the back of red winter other things uh, built on the back of historical research that folks have done that has not been published for or or as alternative rules and official errata so these guys have said you know what <clears throat> we're going to fail our mission and we're going to retreat and so they have uh, begun their exodus there's one guy here one here and then one off screen and they're going to pull back now, that might be surprising, but we don't want to just fritter away units. We could certainly probably last. There were two platoons here, one here, and I think uh, one here. Probably could have lasted another turn or two, uh, given the way the die rolls were going. But if the die rolls went the wrong way, it was going to get ugly really quickly. So given the, <laughs> given the mass, I mean, there's a... I think this is a full battalion of forces here. It's kind of silly to push two platoons up and, and make them do the dirty work. So um, given the level of damage we've inflicted, we're going to pull back. We're going to pull back, regroup back here. Their rally point is back on this hill right here, right in that light. Fantastic. Right here. Oh, gee whiz. Um, there we go. These guys are all actually in a stack here. I bumped that when I moved the camera. I'm calling this the black house spot for want of a better term. But uh, that hillock here is where we're doing our uh, using for rallies. So they'll, they'll come back here. We already have another plan prepped for them. It has to be implemented. We've got a role for implementation. But once they rally here, we're going to push them uh, into a reserve mode. These guys are actually... Uh, you know, as a two-rate uh, morale, uh, that red uh, boxed number, pretty good, but not as awesome as some of the other folks that are floating around. And we're going to look at some of them in a second. But uh, I want to let these guys all kind of come up either over the ice. I'll let these, uh, I nearly said French for some reason, let these Soviets come up either over the ice or around this way or directly and have at the uh, infamous hotel here which has a, a unique uh, DRM for its uh, fortification and that sort of stuff. These guys are all dug in here as well. So we'll fight the good fight here for the time being. We've got some um, 37 mil uh, guns and a squad, uh, squad, a platoon here. <clears throat> These guys will pass through. And then when they break, they'll pass through back through the gravel pit just out of frame. Let's move that back just, oh. The camera is super wonky. My um, my phone holder has decided to poop itself, so uh, it is easy for it to swivel. So my apologies. So we can back off to the gravel pit, and then eventually we can uh, take the uh, Hevo Salami uh, uh, bridge here, and we can blow it if we want to. But 
These guys uh, have to do more than get across the bridge. They've got to get across the bridge. They've got to capture the village. They've got to really move kind of deeper into the uh, Suomi, the uh, the kind of marshy woodlands in here. And they've got to they've got to be uh, they've got to you know drive deep, okay, to be successful. So what the Soviets have done is said, hey, let's come from this flank here. And they're bringing these, uh, this kind of, it's a 364th um, regiment or battalion, whatever it is here. Pretty shitty bunch of guys, quite frankly. Uh, let me see what they are. <clears throat> you can see those fours there floating around. Yeah, that's the, uh, is that a battalion? Yeah, that's a full battalion. So, um, these guys are not that great. And I have got some of the best units dug in along this line here. And it's my activation, when I say my, it's the Finnish activation right now. So they're just gonna hang tight. They're not gonna shoot, they're not gonna fire. They're gonna, all they're gonna do is op fire or overwatch. And they're going to uh, respond in kind to any assault. Let me tell you that. Uh, they just survived a barrage unscathed. And uh, while they'll, they'll make short work of this force here, that's okay. Because what I want to do is have them channel this way. It's all part of my evil plan, as you will see in a second. Channel this way, get into this open area here. We can start, you know, hopefully the Soviets will build their confidence up. They'll start attacking here. I've got some supporting forces here that are much higher rated uh, morale units at, at one. They can uh, jump in and help out, but I have an entire, um, actually more than a company. No, this is a large company. It's got a, ma a machine gun uh, unit uh, with it, but there's one, two, three, four, five, six, platoons here in this uh, sort of oversized company plus MGs. There's eight platoons here. This oversized, um, is that right? Five, two, or have I double punched something? The five, two, oh, here's an interesting thing. The five, now we're in, in, in mid sentence, I see four platoons listed here. Why do I have eight? So that might be an error. Okay, so we're gonna make note of that. Oh, here it is. Uh, it's five and six. Uh, the fifth and sixth platoons uh, are mislabeled. Uh, so this is five and six here, which is fine, doesn't affect us. Uh, so these two uh, companies are standing by and their, their task, their mission today at some point is to choose an opportunity to attack this formation in this in this area we've kind of boxed sort of this area off and they're going to look for an opportunity to do opportunity excuse me to do that and they also have uh pajari right here uh, lieutenant colonel pajari let's zoom in on his slightly weakened heart but nevertheless epic uh, skills level and he is going to be able to adjust their orders on the fly because we have one order in the in the each day where we can just instant instantly um, allocate a uh, op sheet and so we're going to use these guys to just pummel the crap if I can get these guys to uh, move into here which in fact is their uh, I'm going to zoom out zoom out hang on one second we go uh, come on, camera guy. I told you, camera, it just rotates extremely delicately. Okay, so these guys have an order to, they, they were ordered to come around here during the night uh, from uh, the Kotasari Island here, just off screen here. They came around, stayed uh, in contact uh, with the uh, either an island or uh, the coastline. Moved up here, and now their job is to take the uh, uh, Tolvajari Javari uh, Javi uh, um, village, excuse me, and uh, execute that order. So while they're trying to do that, oh look at that boat! 
I gotcha. Uh, while they're trying to do that, these guys are prepping to counterattack aggressively. So I think that's going to be a fun battle to uh, to uh, play out. So that's the update. Um, there are significant other forces coming on the board for both sides, and we'll see what happens with that. But we're uh, enjoying the exercise here. All right, all the best. I've got uh, a little bit of indigestion, so my apologies for the uh, pauses in commentary. All right, all the best.